Hello and welcome, Links here. We are playing Overlord H, which stands for Humorous, of course. And now it is time to hang it out with Ora and Mare, I believe. Yep. By the gigantic tree, which I do believe this is the inside of. Greetings, Ora. I trust you had a good journey. Yee! Taking dragon was a good idea. Hmm, it is quite far to go there on foot. Also, a dragon surely instilled some fear into them. How did it go? More or less as expected. I was lucky to attack the Empress right away. It would, been uh, it would have been troublesome if she would have ended up among the casualties. Empress. I take that she is coming here then? Empress. Not yet. Uh, she wanted 10 days to prepare a gift for you. I was surprised she was asking for so many days just after the warning Mare gave her. I've managed to convince her so at the end she asked for 5 days. Should I have just kidnapped her after all? No. She's an empress after all. You did good, Aura. An empress, huh? Jinville, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder how it feels to grow up to become one. What does she think? How does she behave? To convince Aura and Mare to wait for five days means she's quite skilled when it comes to speech. A normal human would not even be able to speak after one of the Mare's warnings. Hi, Sema. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I have said, you and Mare did a great job. You can take those five days off. You both have earned it. Besides, I'll be quite busy in these days to prepare everything up. Since she's not coming now, I may as well use this time efficiently. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by efficiently? No. For that, I'll require Melnil. The rest can be handled by the lizard man here. Make sure to relay this information to Mare as well. Yes, Aisama. Five days have passed since then. While waiting for her, I kept on building a small Death Knight army. I would need one soon. In the meantime, both Albedo and Rubedo were still getting ready to leave for their mission. I had a feeling she was buying some time. That was fine for me. Her task is a side mission after all. The Overseer should be here if an Empress from a nation comes to visit us. Yeah. Finally, the fifth day had come. I watched as the golems opened doors to the throne room. Cool. Well, you made us wait. I will make you wait as well. <laughs> Let's see. As I enter Shaltry's chambers, I expected to find anything but that. Um... Next room, please. Speaking of the next room, it's going to be gigantic tree. Okay. Aura, why do you not take a relaxing bath at the spa resort? I was thinking of going to the amphitheater. Remember, you have the rest of the day off. You have totally earned it. I would be displeased if you work so soon after getting back. If the spa resort is not good, then... Hi, Summer. Huh? If I head to the spa resort, will you be joining us well? I was take about during the night or in the early hours before dawn. No, I mean, would you join me in the same area? Eh? A cold mingora affects you. That would not be appropriate. Besides, even if I tried, the lion golem would activate. Not if I join your area. If you're okay with me, I would not mind if I if it is with Aisama. Remember, that's actually a girl. Okay, um, I cannot scroll back, but let me just say that in the spa, Aura decided to confess. Like, what the heck? I was asked if I would take Aura as my wife. I declined. Come, come on. Come on. Narberal is the wife. Uh, Amphitheater. 
Clementine, took me a while to find you. One could say that you've been trying to avoid me. Ha! <laughs> Why would I be avoiding you? She continues to swing her sword and then... Martial arts! Flash switch! Ha! She's now swinging her morning star. As the name of the skill suggests, her switching between weapons was almost instantaneous. She ignores my presence and keeps swinging the morning star until she uses that skill again to practice thrusting motions with her stilettos in dual wielding. Oh, not bad. Hi, Sima! Are you here just to watch me train or are you waiting for a good chance to kiss me again, huh? Maybe both. Ooh, is this so? You also wish for me to scream and squirm at you. As I beg you to stop. I hope you are not such a thing as gross as liking me. This is the second time you mentioned that. Were you truly... <clears throat> after all? I'm not some kind of peasant. I have no, I have no interest in men. They would need to kill me for having the chance to... <clears throat> Except there is no one stronger than me. If anything, I would be the one leading. I could actually name a few, but aside from that, what if I'm instead suggesting liking you? Are you some kind of masochist? Not really. I think at all the time I've been in this new world. It gets tiring when wherever you go, everyone bows down before you. Everyone dressing you formally. Everyone gu guarding you. I'm truly not used to all of this. It may be nice for a while, but sometimes I yearn for a more normal interaction. Dude, we are going totally like... 180 degrees change for... I would then define yours to be normal, but freshly different. Glad to be service Dean, but I do not really care. I'm sure among those names you can think of, there is Gazif. True, he may have been stronger than me at some point, but not anymore. I, Clementine, have long stepped in the realm of heroes. I... Right. I have accepted the fact that I cannot ever hope to defeat you, but that does not mean I cannot be the strongest among humans. Had I known about you, or if I had had the chance to escape, I would have done so and tried my best to avoid you. I'm glad I'm not. You have shown me new limits and new ways to better myself. That is why I'm positive. I could easily defeat even Gazef now. I cannot tell the difference. But it's true, you've learned some interesting skills. I might give you the chance to face off Gazef in the future. I'm kind of curious to see the results. Ooh! Now that is interesting! I'll be more than happy to slash him up! I might decide to leave him alive when the time comes. Go, matters not! Even better, he will leave knowing he's trash compared to me! Should I kiss you for granting me the chance, Aitsama? You are not letting the kiss thought go, huh? Could be that you have some interest in men after all. What's I've said only if I'm leading? Fine. Oh, I'm actually curious to see that. You're not joking, huh? Well, you're not that bad when you're in human form. As long as I'm telling one leading, that could be fun. I do not really mind I've given my position for her uh, as refreshing as it may be. I cannot her think she can step on me as she pleases. I let my dreadful aura out. It causes fear or any on any living creature near me. I agree. It would be fun. Let's go. Yee! I teleport to my chambers where we will have some privacy. To talk. <laughs> so what's your idea? Sit in front of me. Uh, I use the ring of shooting stars and do as she asks, you know, to become human. <sighs> now the problem might be... <sighs> we cannot turn anymore. We cannot turn anymore. There is something possibly still going on. Because she's a Delta. New event. Before we go to the Shizu Delta event, I do believe there was. Yeah, I thought there was something new here. A shaky political visit. Alright, we'll have a look at that. Everyone! Can you hear me? I'm a servant of Aizul Gonsama, Aura Bella Fiore. The Emperor! Aura looks in the general direction of the Empress. 
No, the Empress of this country has put a request up in the local guild. This caused a lot of road adventurers intruding our home. The great tomb of Nazarick. Needless to say, our master is in a bad mood now. Do not worry, for he will not just destroy this country. Our master is actually very kind. If the Empress of this country personally came to uh, come to apologize, only all humans here will die. What? Mari! Yes! In a quick! The ground begins to shake. The tremor is localized only in the area around them. Some of the walls begin to crumble. The dragon protects Aura and Mare from the rocks falling down. The soldiers get surrounded and suddenly disappear, sucked by the cracks forming in the ground. What used to be a nice noble garden, a moment before is now a ruin. Vitisul! Remember, our master's kindness will only last for so long. You better hurry up unless you want your city to disappear from the maps. Bye bye! S -s See you! Or not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh. See you, or not. By the way, main. I wonder, maybe main refers to going harem from the very beginning. Okay. Mm, just in case, let me save now. Shizu. Shizu! Yes, hi, Sama. Like a dash V, I found myself in the same cliche situation as in the past. It is almost identical, if not for the presence of the dog staring at both of us. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Shizu, I told you already, if you are getting dressed, you should warn me before I enter your room. I was not getting dressed. I was getting undressed. <laughs> this is even worse, maybe? Does I somehow dislike the way I look? No, of course not. That is not the problem here. Why are you getting undressed to begin with? I'm trying to find something cute to wear so I can play with Kion. Kion? Your pet's name? Yes. Do you want to join me? Sure, why not? I mean, I have some time to spare, but put something on first. Yes. We begin to play with Xion, just as I had thought, taught her. She lets the dog climb on her. What? She tries her best to not hug back. Clearly, she does not feel ready to try yet. After the minutes, we sit on her sofa. Hi, Sama. Had you come here to tell me something? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I did. It is nothing urgent or official, hence why the, I did not use my message skill. Well, it is also something that should be said to face. Face to face, probably. She tilts her head slightly confused. What is it? Alright, with she's I'm gonna go. Let's do it. I mean, I think we are right now at... To, not, uh, yeah. Let's go. Well. Reality is that I really like Shizu. I'm sure asking her to become my second wife would not be a problem, but would she truly be fine with it? I read rules are accustomed to multiple wives, but... Uh, rulers, I mean. Hmm, for now, I should just start slow and see where it leads us. Dogs, like many other pets, like the outdoors. <laughs> Where are we going with this? With the exception of Eclair, I do not think he does. Well, no, he might not. However, dogs do. How do I take Xion outside? If he helps to escape, I'm not sure if I can catch it alive. Good point. Would a single bullet just stun him? Ah. Uh. No, even single bullet will be fatal. I see, so fragile yet so cute. There is a tool to make sure that the dog has its freedom of movement, yet prevent him from escaping. We could go on a date someday and show you how to use it. Really? Thank you. No problem. Once I find a free day, I will let you know. I get up and the dog swiftly steals my spot on the sofa. I should go though. I'm glad we had this discussion. Thank you for spending time with me, Aisama. She bows while still sitting. Oh, does it mean that I already missed a chance with Lupus Regina as well? Ah, oh, god damn it. I guess that means that, yeah. 
Hello, speak with Jirnivel. Thank you for coming, Empress of the Baharut Empire. I'm the overlord of the Great Tomb of Nazarek, eyes all gone. I sincerely thank you for welcoming us, eyes all gone, Donna. Humans, assume a listening posture in front of the Great Eyes, Emma. Prostate yourself! Before any of them bend the knees before me, I raise an arm to stop the Mirug. Stop the Mirug. Yes! Uh, you are free to move. Forgive me for this rudeness. My inability to control my subordinates is to blame. There is no need to apologize, go on, Donna. A subordinate misinterpreting the will of their master is a common occurrence, unfortunately. Understand it well. In fact, that is the reason that brought us together today. It seems a foolish noble from my empire sent intruders into your land. I have come today bearing a gift. A very head. Please accept it. I also have a secondary gift. It will be arriving shortly. I shall. Monger underlings brings me the head. Hmm, what should I do with it? It is not fresh enough to be used. Hmm. My bad. It's fine still. I don't like being wasteful. Ah well, I guess having another death knight would not hurt. Create undead! Death knight! The head melts into a goo of negative energy which falls on the ground. From it, a new undead rises. A death knight. Impossible! Oh, incredible! The newly created death knight joins the line. Now, Jirnivel Journey, Rune for Lord El Nix Dono. Just Jirnivel is enough. Very well, Jirnivel Dono. Since my subordinates acted so impolitely, I will in turn disregard the trouble your nobles has caused to Nazarek. <gasps> Does that mean? There is no longer need to apologize. You may go back home. We're currently very busy, so I didn't want to drag this beating for too long. Thanks to you, we now know that keeping to ourselves is not enough to keep annoyances away. What do you mean? Simple. I will continue to eliminate everything and everyone who will trouble us. Then, how about forming an alliance? My empire will do everything in its power to make sure that no one will annoy you. Oh, what will you gain from that? A friendly relation with your kingdom? After all, it is unnatural for allies to protect each other. I see. Very well, I accept your alliance. Hey, very well, I'm glad to hear that eyes will go on Donna. Since we are allied now, I believe it would be efficient if we could contact each other quickly. As such, I will be leaving Demiruk with you. He's very capable. If you have any issues, speak with him and I'm sure it will be resolved with ease. Yes, we shall take our leave now. Thanks for your time. Eyes will go on Donna. Hmm. Aishama, forgive my ignorance, but no matter how hard I think about it, I do not understand how creating an alliance with those humans will benefit us. Oh, I would not mind having that woman as my toy, <laughs> but that does not require an alliance. We should simply destroy them with our forces and then make the Empress my toy. Aside from the questionable last part, I have to agree with Shaltin. I've been in their home and it's not much. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as our home, but I kind of like the city. Such a shame I could not explore it more. Perhaps it is truly not that good. Wait, more importantly, I should think about the question at hand. Ah, da 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 I'm taking too long to answer. I glanced around the other guardians, and they seem to agree with the, what Shaltir is saying. I can feel cold sweat dripping on my face, but of course I not sweat, nor my face is giving way that I had no idea what to say in this situation. Wait, I know. Shaltir is wrong more often than not. If I have to play by the odds, I should reject whatever she's saying. That would be a foolish decision, Shaltir. So far so good. Now, my secret weapon. The Mirug. I beg your forgiveness, Aisama. At this point in time, I couldn't fully comprehend the full scale of your plan. Not you too! Ah, this is bad. This is like my worst nightmare coming to reality. Wait, not everything is lost. I turn towards Albedo. You are my last hope, Albedo. Save me before you go! 
I would even marry you if you will save me from this situation. <laughs> I'll be do. Mm hmm. I fully agree with you, Ein Sama. Then why will you not explain it to everyone? What do I do now? There is no one else I can turn to. I'm screwed. I call me Gora affects you. <sighs> Nothing else to do. I will need to explain while being careful to not say the wrong thing. Very well. I shall explain part of my plan then. It goes without saying that we could indeed take that kingdom by force. In fact, it would be the quickest way and the most simple for us. However, unlike Lizardmen, they are not a small tribe. Making them and possibly other countries our enemy would be a mistake. We would be seen as vengeful. We would turn entire countries in graveyards that would damage the name of Ain Sulgon. My plan requires for people to think I will do only the necessary to defend our future nation. So they can feel safe, but not part of the ruthless nation. I see! Understand now that it's a good plan, Isama! Before I had the chance to answer her praise. <laughs> Everyone, including me, look at the mirror. I'll just be seeing a tiny element, but now everything has fallen into place. Everything is crystal clear now. Shaltir, do you really think that is all there is to Einsama's plan? Even he said that is only a part of it. <laughs> hey? What do you mean? What? <sighs> I was right to play it safe and say that was only a portion of my plan. Of course, I have no actual plan for <laughs> winging it. You need to think harder. You are floor guardians and you know so little about our master. There is obviously much more to it. Huh? Indeed. And again, expecting no Einsama's true intention is foolish. We barely manage. True, but this much should have been obvious simply by the fact he did not reply right away. I mean, I was just thinking about something to wake up on the moment. Ah, I'm so glad no one can read my thoughts. Einsama, I believe you should inform all of us about your true intentions. If everyone knows about it, that will benefit the plan immensely. I agree. Everyone turns to face Momonga. Ah. <laughs> I call me affects our aura affects you again. As expected of the Miruk and the overseer Albedu. I'm truly pleased you both could see the full scale of my plans. I'm an orphan of such a praise, Einsama. It took me some time, and as always, I know I'm always a few steps behind. Now that I think about it, it should have been obvious that assuming the role of Momon is part of your master plan. Do not worry about it, Demiruk. I had not realized that right away either. Eh? Re realized what? <laughs> what does Momon have to do with any of this? What does that all mean? I do not really get it. Aisama, please tell us. Will you want to help as well? I, I do want to help Aisama. I am truly ashamed that you have to spell it out for us. One by one everyone was pleading him to explain. Everyone's gaze is fixated on Monga. Had been, he been human, all this stress would have made him faint for sure. <sighs> It would not be right for me to explain this full scale of my plan when both Demiruk and the Bell work so hard to keep up. I believe it's a fitting reward to let Demiruk explain everyone to listen the plan from him. Demiruk's eyes widen. Oh, such kindness! I cannot convey how happy I am to serve under you, Einsama! Thank you for granting me this opportunity! Demiruk proceeded to explain the plan in great detail. Oh boy. I was just as surprised as he explained, although my face did not show that luckily. However, all he said actually made sense. We had inten indeed moved forward, although that was not my intention. Once he's done, all the guardians return back to the tasks. As for me, I should head to my office with the Miruk and continue from there. Huh. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> right. Mm. Problematic, yeah. <laughs> As planned, they must be plotting for a way to get rid of us right now. Hopeless. 
Indeed, that is why they must be considering many possibilities right now, while faking an alliance with us. Even trying to turn us against each other. Hmm, highly unlikely they managed to, unless they discover whoever mind controlled the dragon for us. Even then, it is clear they do not know the full potential of the great tomb of Nazarick. This goes to our advantage whether they have a trick up their sleeves or not. More importantly, they believe you are the only source of information I have. In truth, I will rely on you to give me the chance to spy on them. There is no doubt they will hold meetings privately when you are there. My real source information will be gained through the mirror of remote viewing. It would also help me to watch and see how to lead a kingdom. I have no clue, I have no clue at all, man. Like, like zero, zero, yeah. It will be done, Einsama. So I should go there soon, however. However, I will need some information regarding the kingdom first. Hmm. We have discussed the flag. The only thing left is the name. After many suggestions in these days, I decided on Sorcerer Kingdom. Perfect. As for the territory, hmm. I look at the map sitting on the desk. I mean, unofficially, a billion hills belongs to us. After all, you've done a great job in conquering by uniting all those tribes. However, since that was done under your Jaldaboa persona, it would be foolish to officially declare the territory ours. Agreed, it would not be wise for the moment. We might make both a billion hills and the rubble holy kingdom officially ours once we are done with the war. I have never I have not thought much about it. Please, Aizama, do not tell me the answer. I would like to challenge myself in predicting your plans to the best of my capabilities. I would not be able to anyways, man. <laughs> Very well. By the way, how is the war proceeding? As expected. We have conquered a small portion of the territory, but there is still much to do. I mean no hurry since that is only a portion of the plan. Even the current task at hand is more essential for the moment. I think so too. So excluding the unofficial territory, this area including Carne Village and the Lizardman's Village belongs to us. However, I point my finger to Erantel. Our current plans include Erantel as well. It is already under our thumb, but I want to make it official. He adjusts his glasses. Taking into consideration their divergences, they will be more than happy to assist you in taking the territory. After all, despite their true intentions, as they say in goes, the enemy for your enemy is your friend. They will use to deal a strike on Resti the Kingdom. Hmm. We'll play the role of good allies by helping their little war and conquer Erandel. That is all for now. Very well, I'll set off right now and organize everything, Aisama. I am counting on you, Demiruk. Right. I need to speak with Melmel. Should be in the windowless underground chapel on the second floor. Oh. Melmel, do you have a moment? Of course, Aisama. I just completed today's training. Nazarek is going to war soon, in a few months, and I plan to have my own army, a Death Knight army. Would an army of Death Knights truly befit Aisama? Do not worry, I do not want to show the full potential of Nazarek, besides, even the average soldier knows of the power of a Death Knight, they are considered legendary in this world. Understood, I'll do my best to represent you Aisama. That is exactly why I'm here, I want you to lead the army. Eh, me? You are the only unit whom I have granted intelligence. You are also the oldest and you have worked hard every single day. There is no one else I would be trusting with this task. You... You know about that? Aside from monitoring your progress, I did ask about you to Hamsuka. I was pleased from what I heard. She really admires you and your determination. It would not be an execration to say that she has learned martial arts thanks to you. Ah, uh, but... Thank you, but unlike her, I did not learn anything. You are wrong. He? Hamsuka could tell. You did improve, but as an undead, you take much longer to gain experience, even if I have granted you intelligence. Undead have a lot of useful passive abilities, but they come at a cost. There. Ahem. Ahem. I was about to begin a speech about undead mastery like I was in a game, but I stopped myself from doing that. So back to my previous question. Will you do that for me? Of course, Aisama. If you think I'm worthy, I'll be more than happy to. That's the third wife, by the way. I'll be creating new death knights over these days before the battle. 
Who knows? A battle might be just what you need to finally level up. Yes! Alright. The bloody Empress had mentioned to give comics and it should have right by now. I doubt it would be a trap it would be for this. I should check it outside the Nazarick. Who delivered it? Like a freaking DHL or DPD or FedEx? <laughs> Do you have, have that over there? Hello! Floriana and uh, Alariana and Adalinda. What is this? G greetings! We are. Uh, we are here as an offering from the Blood Empress Jirnival Runfar Lord Elnix Sama. Offering? Am I supposed to kill you then? Have mercy, please. Death would probably be better than becoming a slave. Our life is over. Oh, that type of offering. I give a good look at them. Objectively, they are not that good looking. What do you mean? They were pretty decent. No, wait. They look mm, noble and they were made as an offering. If I think about the woman I usually see outside of Nazarek, I'm starting to understand, I think. Just what is Jirnival thinking? No, that is not it. She must have realized her mistake as soon as she saw me. Hence why she did not stay until the gift arrived. So it could very well be a trap. If I harm them, they might use it against me somehow. No, no, I do not want to die. Take my purity while let me leave, please. Ah, but again, it is not so much about harming them, but falling in some type of trap. I'm sure she thought I would <coughs> them, but even if I did, what would she do? She cannot spy on me and it, it's not like they can ever escape the Great Tomb Navzrik. What is she planning? Maybe they are not the noble woman they look like. Three powerful individuals? Hmm. I stare at them, lost in my thoughts. A thumb sound wakes me up to reality. One of them had fainted. Hey? <laughs> well, for the moment I should just store them away and see how this plays out. I'm sure among all her plans, there is none involving me taking them as guests without touching them. If they're planning something, I'll be ready. In fact, I could use them for something I've been planning for a while. You. I point to one of the women whose names I do not yet know. Among them, she is the one who speaks earnestly, uncaring or possibly even looking for death. What do you think of them humans? I mean, they are disgusting monsters. Hey, Floriana. <gasps> it's fine. I was expecting that response. I've prepared a home for you. A home? That is correct. Hold on a moment, please. I contact Ora and Mara. Then wait for them to come here. We're here. Hey, hello. Mare. Yes, Alistoma. Can you take our guests to the green hole? Green hole? Yes. Uh, the corpse too? No, the corpse. She... She's just taking a nap. Make sure to not harm them in a way. They are our guests, after all. Understood. With the help of Ora's pet, Mare safely takes the free woman in the green hole on the sixth floor. Now, Ora, you don't have to start today, but I have an experiment in mind. One I would like you to help me with. An experiment? Of course, Isama. I want to create a small village within Nazarek. More precisely, in the green hole. However, unlike Karna village, it will include different races, including humans. I believe coexistence between demi-humans and humans is possible, but I want to try different things in a smaller scale first. We get the first three humans. I will leave the task of gathering some friendly, friendly demi-humans to you and Mare. Oh, I think I got it this time. Got it? You threw plans like Demiru Koralbedu. Not you two. Ah. Oh. Your plan is to build good public relations, hence why those three were your first subjects. You want to fool those humans like rats in a cage, is that right? Well, yeah, yeah, good job, Ora. Great job. That is most of it. In reality, I just want to build a mini kingdom to learn how to rule one. It is different from Karna Village because they know exactly who rules them. Also, if I'm successful in my experiment, I could build a perfect world, my friend. For my friend or any other player from Yggdrasil. 
I have only a few months to train on a smaller scale and those three women, I just have no idea how, of how to safely dispose them. <sighs> Good it, summer. I'll do my best to guide them. They will not suspect a thing. Hmm, I count on you, Ora. Well, time to get to work. I have a few months, but I cannot afford to take it easy. Unsure what to do with the free woman, he used them for, an harmless, for a harmless experiment. Ora and Mare gathered some demi-humans, mostly plant-based ones who could build a relationship with humans more easily. As Momonga had expected, it is not easy. The three women mostly kept to themselves and caused no problems only because they had no other choice. That at least confirmed their identities. They were really nobles whom the Blood Empress had used as offerings. Project Utopia has begun! After the war is over and you form your kingdom, you will be able to begin inviting some characters to join the Green Hall. Oh! Depending on the choices you have made so far and will make in future. If a character is eligible to join the Green Hall, they will be marked as a new event. Two months later. Two months later. Two months. We'll find out what happens two months later in the next episode. That's right. Let's end it right here, right now. And we'll continue tomorrow, I believe. For now, for hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider liking the video, of course. If you're new around, subscribe. That would be super appreciated. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye.